so we're going to talk about beginnings and endings of tunes. Lots of times I just count them in or I do potatoes, which is, uh, I don't know where that term came from, but it's just basically like, like two or four measures of yeah. just setting the tempo, right? So when you're playing a tune at home, if you've never uh, thought about it, rather than just jumping into the tune right away, for example, if we're doing um, uh, Sugar Hill. Sugar Hill. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. to do it the other way I think that is commonly done is so you play the last two measures sometimes it's a little more than two measures sometimes it's four you know yeah. or uh, Mississippi Sawyer or a whole lot of tunes uh, one start of the, that way one of the things that I know uh, I mean, some people start, I never could figure it out, they start on either the last measure or the last two measures. Yes. And I have to sit there and go, Right. But then, uh, I can't do it that way. Mike Harper is so great at doing that. Yeah. Like, he knows the last phrase, but lots of times my my brain, I can't think of what it is. But now that we just played Sugar Hill, then I know it's... Yeah. And then we start. Yeah. So and it, then, I know... Um, Sometimes I'll, I'll play with people and they'll they'll say, okay, we're going to do Sugar Hill. And mm -hmm. they'll start, and they'll start the tune. And it, are you starting and this is the A part? Mm -hmm. Or is this going to be mm -hmm. the beginning of the A part? Right. And then it's okay until when it gets to the end of the A part, somebody's still playing and somebody's moving into the B part. Right. So I think really it's, it's either potatoes mm -hmm. or... Ready, go, or you yeah, know. one, two, ready, play. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, the last two measures, most of the time, that's pretty clear. But if you play, for example, like you said, if you're if you play more than that, then people don't really know where you yeah. are, right? In terms of like, I, there's been times, and if you're at a jam, it doesn't really matter, obviously. But but it's nice to have everybody know. Uh, the yeah. tempo and know to come in and you know if, if I think for beginners that was at least when I first started that was kind of an, a hard thing to know like how to get started with a tune in a group of people that I didn't know or whatever um, you know and you can certainly like I said you can just start playing but but it's nice if everybody comes in together because then there's no confusion about well they just played an A part solo does that mean we're going to play yeah. two more A parts? Are we just going to play one more A part? Generally, if somebody plays that long of an intro, like if they play a whole A part on their own, I'm going to just play the second A with them and we're going to go into the B part. I don't ignore the introduction so, as, you know, if it's a whole, so if how it's do the you, whole A part. What is your standard way to start a tune? Usually I do potatoes. Yeah, or I okay. just say one, two, ready, go. Okay. Now I'll do something like. Yeah. Yeah. Just to get the tempo going. Well, that's cool. Yeah. So you you mute the Just strings. Kinda, one, uh huh. Two, three, four. Okay, do it. Do it that way for us. Okay. okay. One, three, four. really cool on Sugar Hill that I want to mention. So you are playing that A chord. Here's the kind of the standard. Right? Yeah. Now, 
now here's what you did. Here it comes. Yeah. So you're playing that A chord a little bit early, Syncopa yeah. which adds syncopation to it, which is cool. It's really cool. And you can do that in a jam, even if I'm playing it straight and you, you syncopate it that way. It's really cool. If we all do it, it really adds a lot. I think if people know, you know, and, and you wouldn't want to do that every time through. You know, it's a, it's like putting too much salt in your food. You don't want to do some of these techniques. You don't want to do every time you play that phrase. You want to try to mix it up because all of these things are just like spices. You know, we don't want to overdo them. Okay, let I love Sugar Hill, and I'm wondering, I want to talk about endings. Okay. because um, you have some really cool endings. So is Sugar Hill a good one to do for endings? I don't know. <laughs> well, let's try it. Okay. okay? Oh, All right. Um, All right. All right. All right. So uh, what? Okay. And, and if it's not, then we'll, we'll choose something else. Let's, let's try it together. Okay. And then when we get done, I'll talk something about some endings. All right. So I want I want you to do. Okay. Now, see, here's another thing. Uh -huh. I, I really don't like starting songs. I don't, I mean, it's, I mean, we're all victims. I'm nervous. Yeah. I mean, not yeah. quite to second, but, right. and I'm always afraid because I play with so many different people. Am I starting it too fast mm -hmm. or am I starting it too slow? Right. So I usually just, somebody else started. And then I you just. You want somebody get, else to take the blame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I got big shoulders, but. Yeah. But yeah. I yeah. Well, that's, yours. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That way we well, can all say, I'm willing to take it on. You know, uh, you know well, we can just. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, last yeah. Sunday, yeah, yeah. I, I started a tune and, and it wasn't even the right tune. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A totally different tune. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was pretty. It was really pretty, uh, but it was not the right tune. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I'll, I'll try to start mediocre. One, two, three, four. You know, okay, here's the funny story. Okay. Everybody raises their foot. Yeah, right, okay. right. Now, the confusion is that is, I've always got my head looking down here. I'm, I, uh -huh. you know, I try to play and look up as much as I can to see where everybody is as mm -hmm. far as hands. And, but the, the big thing is raise your foot. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't see you raise your foot because nope. they're looking at the tab. Right. Funny story. Marine yeah. Sellers. 
this years and years ago. You've got a funny one. I'm going to tell a funny one, okay. too, after yours. So I, I hadn't been playing that long. Of course, <laughs> I played the penny whistle, and I found a handy place to keep it. It was under my leg. Mm -hmm. And we were playing one day a long, long time ago, and I went to get my whistle, and everybody quit. <laughs> and Mar Marine says, only five people in the world call me Billy. My mother, three sisters, and Marine Sellers. Marine says, Billy, you don't raise your foot. That means you're ending the song. I said, oh, okay. So I have to be careful now. I had to sneak it out. Oh, that's yeah. so awesome. I yeah. love that. I love that. So I had okay. To sneak it out. So my story is uh, back um, when we were playing a gig and our friends Kathy and Tom Arnold were there yep. playing and there was a guy named Bill Ray. I don't know if you ever played with mm -hmm. Bill. He's a really good fiddler. And um, Kathy and Tom were there and Kathy had uh, her, she had a, a dog, got her sighted guide dog. And, um, you know, who, I don't think it was Franny, might have been Desi. Anyway, so the dog was laying at her feet and, and being so sweet. And we were at this antique mall where there were big walls and it was kind of like a maze where you were walking through. And my husband um, at the time was kind of wandering around while we were playing. And uh, uh, Bill was such a great fiddler, an old time fiddler. And so when he would get ready to end a song, he would yelp, he would go, Arp! you know, or whoop, or something yeah. like that. He whoop. Okay. <clears throat> so after we, after we played the gig, uh, I said to my husband, I said, well, how, how did we sound? You know, and it, did it sound okay? And he said, well, yeah, it sounded okay, except Kathy's dog kept barking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I said, well, did you notice that every time the dog barked, we ended the song? <laughs> <laughs> so it was Bill going whoop. Like that, and poor, yeah. poor, poor doggy got blamed. Poor Kathy's dog got blamed for for barking in the the, the antique mall. <coughs> anyway, so there are lots of funny stories yeah. there. Okay, one well, back the, to what you okay. were doing. One of the things though, I was going to say about endings. The best yes. one I've heard, here, Dave Haas. Dave Haas. Ain't okay. No jam All right, like Dave. A Dave Haas jam. Ain't no ham. Anyway, Dave would. Uh, he might say <coughs> last time, but he would say out. Yeah. And for me, it's hard to, okay, one more time while I'm playing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I'm going like, you know, okay, one more time, and I'm trying to, okay, mm -hmm. one more time, you know, okay, one more time, uh, okay, one <laughs> more time. So anyway, I'll say last time, but I like out. Yeah, out's good. Out's good. Uh, take it home. Yeah, Sometimes take it home, people but out. say take yeah. it home. Um, yeah, so, yeah. but anyway, you did something cool when oh, we played. Yeah, yeah I know, I know, who knows, it was dissolved in the wind, but it's all on tape, okay. right? Yeah. So Bill is going to explain it, or uh, let's do the B part a couple of times through, and okay. maybe it will come back to you. While we're talking about this B part, mm -hmm. there's, uh, I'll do a G, or I'll do the, what is it, the B minor? Mm -hmm. Or uh, the G? Or just two fingers. Okay. Or, yeah. I like this. I'm kind of, unless it's an eight, I like the two fingers. Well, if you do the two fingers, then it's, then it's a, um, then it can, then it goes well with the B minor. If you do a true G major, you can hear the difference yeah. there. If I do a true G major, which is a five on the melody, three on the bass, three in the middle, that, that doesn't go with a B minor uh, but because you're playing two notes basically you're playing a D in the middle on the third fret and yeah. a D on the bass and a G well those will be fine when I'm now, playing a B I minor do, I'll notes. do I'll do some the B minor mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but if I do that walk down mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. easier to go into the yeah A yeah yeah that's that's fine that's fine yeah you can also just do two uh, strings rather than all three on a instead of a five five five. You can do a a, a five five zero oh or an o oh five five, which is kind of cool. And let one of the strings, yeah. All right, but you okay. did something we that um, let's see. What 
did you do that? Let's see. Um... All right, nice pull off there. So do that again. So that's a pull off. If you strike the, yeah. the middle string and pull off on that first fret, the finger that's on there, and that, that open ring. Little, and then, whoops, yeah. what was it? Yeah, not just plain. Or you, you know. That's a nice ending. A little quick, quick something I've, I've I read this and you know, I use, um, no matter where you pluck, mm -hmm. you doesn't matter. You're gonna get the D or the A or the D. Mm -hmm. Unless you have another finger down, that's true. Yeah. So yep. instead of uh, mm -hmm. or um, let's see. Instead of when I'm doing that, instead of going. Right. Mm -hmm. it just, you either have down pick, up pick. So you're, it's a it's an, an A anyway. Mm -hmm. So if, right. Instead of plucking right. it. Yeah. And that happens so much when we're when yeah. we're getting down into a yeah. song that you can just instead of hitting it. Yep. One of these that you just pull off. Yep. Yeah. No matter where you're at. Yeah. Um, do you ever end a song like going up the neck, like ending on a seven? Do you no. ever do that? No. Now but I do that. Yeah. I do that. Let me demonstrate that. So play the B part of uh, Sugar Hill, the whole B part. I do. Whoops. That's yeah. one way to do it. So, yeah. so basically, I go from a four instead of knowing that a seven is the octave of the zero. Yeah. Okay. So four, or I can do four, six and a half, seven. And you don't have to have the five in the middle, you know, if it's a nice slow song and you can get fingers down. Yeah, you can double. I See, do a lot of the doubling. I watched uh, uh, another plug for the guys. I watched Seifert. Yeah, Steve, Steve Seifert. He does, yeah. I watch, he does, and that's, I do, <clears throat> I love the sound mm -hmm, of it. Mm -hmm. Well, and if you're at a jam, there's lots of times that uh, those double notes can really stand out yeah. uh, in a way that if you're doing a chord that has all those harmonic qualities like the harmony doesn't stand out as more as much but if you're doing if you're doubling on the bass and the melody string you get a real pop from the melody 